Hi, my name is Veronica from eTours Russia and today we are going to explore the most famous and one of the main parks in Moscow, Vedenha. V D N H. Why there are so many abbreviations in Russian language? Well, sometimes it's too complicated to understand what's behind the certain abbreviation. In this case, V D N H can be translated into English as the exhibition of the achievements of the national economy. Uh, v D N H Park was opened in 1930s, and inside you can find out a lot of pavilions designed in a very intriguing style, representing the different industries of the Soviet economy as well as the republics. Do you remember how many? Please type the answer in the comments. It barely can be defined with one particular word. So we simply call it a park, but you can hardly find something like that anywhere else. So we are standing next to the central and the main arch leading us to the park itself. The park is almost 300 hectares. Well, it comes to Moscow, I have to repeat these words. Huge, big, tremendous. Recently the park was renovated and today we are standing just inside the central arch and inside the central arch there is the museum devoted to the history of Vedenha. Just behind me you can find out an interactive map which will show you the particular location of different places inside the park. Let's have a look. Before the collapse of the USSR, it was necessary to get the ticket for the park. And we are just in front of the ticket offices. And here you can find out how the tickets looked like in different ages. So 1930s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. Можно два билета, пожалуйста? The exposition is presented through, through the photos. It's so-called the timeline of Vedenha, where you can step-by-step step learn the history of the park. As well as it's presented through the different videos and different things that you can touch, and I'm going to show it. In the center of the park, we have a fountain, which is called as the People's Friendship. The fountain is made of the gilded statues, which are representing the girls wearing the national costumes. They are all representing different nationalities living in the Soviet Union. What you have to do, you have to simply spill the place and find the right match. The emblem with the girl. Let's try. Let's find Russia. Oh, here it is. This is Russian girl pre uh, presented in the traditional Russian costume and the emblem of Russian Soci Socialistic Federative Soviet Republic. Here is Belarus, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Lithuania, Georgia, Uzbekistan, Latvia, Karelo Finnish Soviet Republic, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Estonia, Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Armenia, Azerbaijan. 
The name of the fountain is just written on the top in Russian, Druzhba Narodov, or the people's friendship. Once upon a time it was a very Soviet place and today it's very unique, modern and nice place to have some free time. Let's have a look in the video room what VDNH can offer you today. Summer in Vedenha is very nice. You can rent a bike and bike around and see all the pavilions and the territory of the park. But what to do in the winter? Of course, skating. And if you cannot ski, it's going to be so much fun because you are going to skate on one of the largest skate rinks in Russia, Vedenha Skate. Regularly, Vedenha skate rink can host 4,000 people at the same time. But since the coronavirus is here, only 2,000 people can go at the same time. For those who cannot skate, I've got another option, which is the magic slide. And you know, I'm not going to give you any explanations, I'm going just to try it. And you watch and try not to be jealous. Surprisingly, but one of the pavilions with uh, rowboats. Let's have a look. Once you are in Vedenha, I'm sure that you already traveled around Moscow. So that's the right place to repeat all the buildings and all the districts you've seen while you were traveling. We are in uh, one pavilion which presents Moscow in miniature. And the most amazing thing about this is that it's for free. The project was sponsored by the government of Moscow in 2017 and people really loved it. That's why uh, they decided to enlarge and every single year they ate in different sections of Moscow because Moscow is growing as well.
Vedenha is a book with a thousand of pages and one of them brings us to the story of the space exploration. So in a pavilion which is proudly named Cosmos you may find the exhibition which is related to the achievements in space exploration of the Soviet Union. And it's quite easy to find it out because it's just behind the huge model of Vostok spacecraft. In 1961, on the 12th, 12th of April, Yuri Gagarin went to the space and that was the first human who went to the space for the first time. Okay, we are inside the space pavilion and uh, let me introduce our guide for today. This is Irina. She's going to tell us everything about the uh, exhibition. Hello, we are glad to greet you at our Center of Cosmonautics and Aviation. Uh, this building was constructed in 1939, but its modern name, Space, it gained in 1967. It was large space exhibition here and uh, also full-size model of space rocket Vostok in the front of the pavilion was situated also in 1967. Uh, this rocket put uh, in the, into the orbit the first spaceship with the first cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin on board. And here we have full-size model of this spaceship Vostok. It consisted of two parts, descent vehicle and technical compartment. Yuri Gagarin was situated in this part and he ejected at the altitude of seven kilometers together with his chair and started to land using parachute. Then at the altitude of four kilometers this chair also ejected and he landed using his parachute system. Nowadays all cosmonauts return back inside the sand vehicle. The first breakthrough into space was fulfilled when the first artificial satellite was launched. This is the full-size model of the first Sputnik. On the 4th of October 1957 it was launched with the help of the rocket, which uh, was able to reach the first space velocity. One month later, after the first satellite, in November 1957, the second satellite was launched and it carried a passenger on board. The dog named Laika was the first living creature in the orbit in conditions of zero gravity. And this is the most beautiful part of our pavilion, Dome Hall. And here in the air we can see different satellites. For example, under the dome we can see uh, actual a satellite transmitter. Three such satellites help to communicate with the International Space Station. What do you think of flying a spacecraft? And it is absolutely possible if you'll come and visit the museum located in the Soviet model of the reusable spacecraft Buran. Completed the flight in 1988, it was never used after. 
But here in Webenha it's possible to find out all the models of testing systems of uh, ejection of the seats uh, which are vibrating and imitating the uh, landing as well as you can find out the real cabin. The most exciting part is when you try to fly and control the spaceship. Let's try. You may be very surprised to find that Vedenha is not just a place with the pavilions, but it's also a beautiful nature park. If you go just a bit further from the pavilions uh, in the forest, you will find out yourself in a section which is known as the Botanical Garden. And here we have a, such a place called the Ecosystems Exhibition. The Ecosystems Exhibition represents a beautiful flora and fauna of Moscow city. So here you can climb the bridge, kind of bridge, which is actually a very narrow path. Walk along this narrow path and overlook the beautiful trees we have here. Most of them are common Russian oaks and pine trees. As you may see, there is a sign saying that this place is full of different birds, especially hawks. For those who like to watch birds, you can come here and catch them on the camera. Because it's winter and it's really cold and we need some time for warming up. It only take, took us 15 minutes to get to the other side of the track. But in the summertime you can feed squirrels and you can feed birds here. But since I'm very frozen, it's time to play in the snow. Less and less people have physical books to get new skills. Instead of this, well, we live in a cutting age and we are looking for the fastest and the most comfortable way of learning. Russia is my history, is one of the pavilions in Vedenha and here you can go through the whole Russian history via technologies. You remember that Russia is more than a thousand years, so it might take three hours at least. Let's have a look.
I showed you the complete tour in Vedenka, but it still has some magic. Look at these lights. Thank you for joining the complete tour in Vedenha organized by eTours Russia. And you know, you can enjoy it either in summer or in the winter. That's your choice. Like, subscribe and follow us in social media. Bye bye.